Welcome, my friends, to another Soupy Shays video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. I am thrilled to have you here, and all I'm going to say is Subi smiles to all of you and squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into today's show video and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're tuning in from today, it's a beautiful sunny day, and you've got yourself something cold in your hand, and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome. Thank you so much again for being here. Today, I really want to revisit and talk about the journey that we've been on and the journey that this little razor's gone on. This right here is the thorn, and it has seen uh absolutely fantastic journey over the course of three years. I cannot believe it has been three years since this razor was released. I remember um, talking with Adam when they were doing the development on the razor over on Facebook and um, personally back and forth and it, it, the concept of how it was being generated, the ideas that we were coming up with. And I remember when they said, what do you think of the copper color? They actually asked, what do you think of the copper color? And I was one of the first people, I, I swear to you, one of the first people that pushed for this razor to come out in copper. I said, absolutely. I think it would sell. Definitely, definitely, definitely is up there as far as the uh, color tones. I think it's beautiful because it has a vintage vibe while maintaining a modern shine. I love this thing. I've loved it for three years, right? We've seen them as a company grow. We've seen them go from a uh, lower base following up to like 85,000 on Instagram. I mean, they have really exploded as a company. And I truly believe it's because they produce one of the best modern razors available, especially for, um, you know, newer or intermediate level shavers because it's a very, very easy razor to use. Look at the small head on this razor. It's very easy. It's a fiddle-free system, right? You can see how it's loaded. And again, this is a razor that uses and operates off of a half DE razor. I want to talk about it. I've had a couple comments on my older videos just recently um, about, you know, this razor in specific, especially in copper. Uh, I'll post the comments here, but I've been back and forth with a couple of users and I wanted to talk about this. It's been too long since we did a thorn shave. Come with me. Let's do it together. I'm really excited today to have just kind of a cut back, kick back and relax. Thank you for joining me. I know it's already going to be a leprechaun level, you know, underneath the rainbow pot of gold kind of shave. And I'm really excited to have you here for it. Today, we're going to be talking about this blade. I've never used it. These are the Dorcos. These are Dorco, Dorco Primes. Very interesting blades I, I've never used before. They were sent to us um, by a user uh, that's a, a big, uh, one of the winners on of our, our channel's uh, giveaways. Uh, one of the winners um, sent it to me and said, hey, give them a try out. Really nice. I, I really do appreciate this. So today, we're going to try out these Dorco Primes. Primes. And again, huge shout out to the user for doing that. Thank you so much. My Subi subscriber for getting me these. I really do appreciate this. We're going to try them out today. I have no idea we're gonna, how they're going to do, but we're going to find out. We're rocking out with Doppelganger Gray. This is a scent by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Get the splash out here. We're going to use this one today because if it's a shave for me, we're going to use the scent that I love. And this is Aventus, right? This we're not going to no punches pulled here. This is like the Creed scent. It is a homage. It is a tribute scent. It smells exactly like Creed to me. It smells super nice. And we've got the solid clone that we're going to go on top with today after the shave. Oh, really excited. Got it whipped up and on the dome already. But today we changed things up a little bit. Instead of using the PA Lather Booster, I used this. I tried the Leaf Pre-Shave Oil. I've never used an oil before, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. But I did use it. It did actually produce a little bit of like a tactile difference on my head. And then I lathered on top of it. I will have that video here. Just so you got to get an idea of how it performs and how it felt on the skin while I was doing it. I really like it. I think it's nice. It's an interesting concept. And I, 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 I'm really excited to try it out today. We've got it already whipped up and lathered as far as the soap goes. Take a look here. Ow! It's nice. It is ready for a shave. It is hydrated beyond hydrated. You can see that, right? Look at the hydration on this soap. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. We're going to throw a little bit extra on there. But you watched me lather up, right? We're sitting on 24 hours of stubble. And I'm thrilled. Oh, it smells so good. And I forgot to mention it, but this is a maritime brush. If you haven't um, checked out Brennan's work, it's coming out of Maine. Absolutely fantastic work for brushes. Let's do the shave. Oh, I've already swapped out the plate. I'll show that here. I actually filmed it so you could see. It's very simple to do. It's very easy to switch the plates in and out. I originally had it as a twig. I, you know, I swapped the twig plate over into this. But today I switched it back so that we can have that original copper razor that was um, kind of like a prototype, honestly. It was like something they were testing and, and considering, right? Right here, we've got that full copper style that's not really available anymore. I had a couple of users reach out and say, where can 
I get one? You can't. It's not available anymore. Uh, one of the users did reach out over to Leaf. They are going to check and see if they have any back inventory of the razor, but I was pretty confident that they sold out of most of these razors in copper. Really, really beautiful razors. They were, came out about three years ago. Is that crazy? It was in 2020 that the twig came out. Then 2021, we saw the revision of the twig and the development of a more aggressive twig, aka the thorn, right? And the thorn has a funny backstory, right? We'll start shaving here. But it has a funny backstory because it actually was uh, kind of a pet name um, from the user group. That's the thing that kind of cracks me up is we were kind of going back and forth between calling it, you know, the the twig aggressive or the twig ultra fill. I mean, we were all kind of playing around names. And one of the users over on Facebook coined the term thorn and it just stuck. And I think it's absolutely genius because it plays into kind of their theme. Um, I'm, I am getting a little bit, as far as the oil goes, my hand feels a little bit like slippery, a little bit more slippery than it would. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of aloe. I'm going to keep going here. Really love the razor. I love the history of the razor, right? And I love the fact that the thorn kind of came out right when we started doing the YouTube. <laughs> it was kind of funny. It actually is kind of about the same time I was considering chewing and starting to film for YouTube. So it had a kind of a similar journey. Now the Thorn did much better as far as blowing up. <laughs> I have not had as much success as this little razor has, right? But the interesting thing is originally this razor was kind of criticized by the general um, shaving community as, is it necessary, right? We have double-edged razors. Why do we want a single-edged razor that uses double-edged blades? And I think it was really interesting. The moment I, I, I experienced the razor, I was like, oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. It has super, super good skin fill. It's a very efficient razor. I put it as a medium razor with hyper like super high efficiency i've never had a problem with getting through any of my stubble with this razor it does have a little bit of blade fill to it and my buddy i just loaned it out i just barely got this back actually uh, mentioned to me he said that he felt like the thorn was a little bit too much kick and he preferred the twig kind of a personal thing i really like the on um, the thorn i've always been a big fan of the efficiency to smoothness to um, kind of the mild offset that this razor really produces for me. Um, it's kind of funny also when we were, when I was kind of like reviewing and going back in my mind, right? With this beautiful little razor. And it's interesting, we were talking about how the razor originally, you know, was not really designed as a main heavy lifting shaver, right? We gotta mention that. the This was a companion tool to the leaf. And I actually texted over to Adam and I said, you ever tried to use that just on a, like a full head shave? <laughs> He's like, well, I, I, I could do it probably. And we kind of went back and forth and it was interesting to me that, you know, the, the concept of it shaves so good that it works as a daily driver. And that's what I started pushing was that I liked using it for the full head shave. Now, uh, keep in mind, they do offer the leaf that pivots. It's a little bit easier to use, in my opinion, as far as the handle being a little longer and just a little bit more, I don't know, it pivots. But because of the small head on this, I really like this razor a lot. Usually when I'm going between my twig, my thorn, and my leaf, um, they kind of work as companion tools. But there are times when I'm traveling and stuff where I will just um, bring the thorn with me and get an awesome shave and not have to take multiple tools. You can see here, look at this coming off. 26 hours-ish, just wiping off, no problems. Very smooth razor. I always forget. I always forget. Now, these Dorco Prime blades, let's talk about them a little bit. I don't think that they are as good for me as something like the Persona Lab Blues. These kind of are weird on my skin, at least, and keep in mind, your mileage may vary on blades. They're like an in-between. They kind of remind me of an Astra Blue. I think Astra Blues are probably in the same category for um, smoothness and performance. These are good. These are not bad. These are much better than the Dorcos with the red label for me, but I don't know if I would actually switch going um, forward from my derbies. I hate, I hate to say it, but I love my derbies. My derbies are just my favorite in this razor, and this probably falls being a little bit more harsh on the skin for me, um, as far as uh, in the thorn. Now that could change depending on um, razor, right? So I will continue playing with the Dorco Prime blades, but I think for me, for now, I will stick with my derbies in the Thorn Razor, just because I like the fill of it a little bit better. It's not a bad shave at all. I don't want to, I want to preface that again. Not a bad shave. And I love that about the Thorn is I can throw in some test blades and test out and kind of experiment. And I always recommend if you're a new shaver and you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's been out a long time. Maybe I'll go give it a try. Maybe the Leaf product really is as good as this bald guy saying it is, right? If you're going to do that, I highly recommend getting a blade sample pack, testing out the Leaf blades that are a very mild blade, and then working your way up through that. 
The test sample packs can be bought anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them over on Maggards. Um, you can get them at TRC. I want to mention that again. You can get them pretty much everywhere. They offer test packs um, of multiple blades. So you can kind of get an idea of how a razor is going to shave for you with different types of blades. Right? Aggressive blades, sharp blades, coated and uncoated. The world is open and it's huge when it comes to safety razor shaving, right? There's lots of different blade options. You're not just stuck with a cart, right? You, the, whatever's in the cart, that's what you get. It's not the way it is with these um, safety razors, right? You, you can choose the blade that matches your skin preferences. This one for me, I would say is probably... I, 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 I just don't know if it's as smooth for me. Just not as smooth. Now, the, uh, the, the thorn really does produce uh, an efficient shave, and it is really up in the ante when it comes to those door ghosts. Just not as smooth. Really good shave, though. Really good shave. Very comfortable. I am going to do a little bit of extra buffing here because I have time to. Why? Because the shave was fast. And I, I, I strongly, I keep saying it here. I'm going to keep saying it. I always will be honest and transparent with you. Always. You can count on me for that. If I really feel a certain way, I'm going to express it. I expressed it three years ago when I said this razor has changed the way I shave in the mornings. It has absolutely revolutionized my shaves and made them not only more comfortable, more approachable, and more enjoyable. I just, I, it was a razor that blew my mind. I, the first shave I had, I said, Yep, that's the one. That's the new razor that I'm going to use that is the goat for head shaving for me right now in the modern era. And I still feel like three years later, I feel like I was right. It's a really, really good shaver, at least for me. Still is, um, to this day, one of my favorite all-time ways to travel because it's a one and done. You take one tool and you can get a phenomenal, phenomenal enjoyable shave. And the cool thing is that me and my wife both love it. So we both take just one razor, we swap the blades out and we have no problem sharing. I like that. I like the ability to um, have a razor that kind of is the Goldilocks razor as I refer to as for both of us. Kind of nice, really good shave. What a journey it has been for the channel. And if you haven't, please go below, smash that sub button, show me a little love, Throw me a comment. I'd love to talk to you. Hit the sub, hit that, yep. Give me the thumb button, dang it. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Leaf has been a huge bomb sponsor and backer for the channel. They have always provided to us a link below, which I will have below still, right? That gets you guys a discount if you shop over at Leaf, right? But they were really the first, really the first um, group to reach out and say, we like what you're doing. How can we be you know, involved in seeing you grow? I was a tiny little channel. And they had faith in me, and I love that. I really do love that. I was never under the pressure of saying, hey, I think this is great because, you know, Leaf told me to say it. No, I love the razor. I have been completely transparent with you because, uh, you know, three years ago, I was the same way. I had no subs. I was just a lone dude shaving, and I just really love this razor from the bottom of my heart, and I was excited because I kind of share it with people, right? I was like, I get to share this beautiful little razor that works really well for me in a modern era. You can order this now on Amazon, which I also think is kind of cool, but if you do that, you can't use the link. So you don't get the discount. You, you can use your you know Amazon gift cards even now to buy Leaf products, which I think is cool. I think that's rad, and it really does show just the amount of development that Adam and Adam have done over at Leaf, right? And the cool part is, and this is the thing that I love about Leaf, they are not done, right? They were not just like, okay, that's our one razor, we're finished. No, this is a company that continues to push the envelope. They continue to um, try to change what is considered to be the good safety razor shave, right? Can and trying to improve it so it's more available, more accessible, and more enjoyable for the the general the general population shaving, not just wet shavers, right? And I like that. I like that they are trying to make it accessible and trying to reduce waste, right? That's really the push. I love the product. I like the product so much. We bought the Elite one when it came out, right? We were one of the first 25 people to get the Elite that was stainless steel. Still, but because that's no longer being produced, I still think this PVD version is an awesome pickup. It's a good price, and I love the fact that we have that discount go below that will help you get it a little bit cheaper. Really awesome, beautiful razor. If I just hold it the right way, really beautiful razor. I love it. Thank you again for joining me for it. I, look at this. Look at this shave we just pulled off with zero effort absolutely fantastic we've done really fast shaves with it thanks for bearing with me and doing a slower one and just kind of hanging out it's been an awesome shave going up a little bit of this solid clone if you haven't seen this from phoenix artisan i love this stuff it is super hydrating it lasts i mean when we say lasts like i will work out the next day and i'm like i can still smell what i use i really like this um solid clone base really good i don't 
I love the um, the pre-shave enough to jump to it as far as going over, you know, my lather booster or my, my shave creams. But I think it's a nice alternative option, especially for people, you know, that are looking for more moisturizing. I don't need that. I absolutely have oilier skin. So for me, that's probably not as good. I, I don't know if I would say I'm going to run out and buy more. But as far as the actual shave, what an awesome opportunity this has been to grow with a razor, right, as a channel and see their growth. I think it's been amazing. Thank you again for helping it make, you know, become possible, for helping me chase my dreams. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I will catch you in the next Subi Shaves video. I'm going to go enjoy a flawless shave. I'll see you in the next one. Soups out.